Welcome, good people. Did you know there's a 100% chance that everyone that you encounter throughout the day is either suffering from grief or trauma? For instance, most of us are grieving over a family member, someone we were close to, or someone whom we love. How many of us stop to think while interacting with someone that is either angry or depressed that grief or trauma could be the reason why they feel that way? Too many of us that have been traumatized or grieving have very little knowledge on how to cope with it or how to work through it. The truth is, in order to cope with or either work through trauma or grief, we must first identify which one it is. I'm not sure how many of you are aware that there are five stages of grief, which are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. However, the stages that don't always manifest in the same manner that I mentioned. It is important for each one of us to be aware of which stage we are going through at the time that we are experiencing it. This way, we will be able to express our feelings to those who are around us that are striving to help us cope or to comfort us through an emotionally difficult time. In closing, it's important that we are receptive to other people's feelings for the sake of creating and sustaining healthy relationships with those whom are in our lives. By being mindful that due to our own grief and trauma, we are going to experience highs and lows and go through good and bad days. In order to reestablish emotional stability, we all must be willing to practice empathy, understanding, patience, and grace towards each other. Share this with everyone you know. Subscribe if you already have it. Leave questions or comments. Press the notification button so that you will be alerted Anytime new material is released. Also tune in on Saturday at 8 p.m. to my YouTube page, Pete Game TV Live Show. Love, truth, peace, and respect. And remember, I love you like I love myself. Until next time.